How do you like your kebab? Juicy, well done, or lab green? This is Adam Erikci. He's the co-founder of Biftek Co, a biotech company that is looking to revolutionize the way meat is produced in Turkey. Remember that lab-grown kebab? But before we get into what this tastes like or how it's made, let's look at why lab-grown meat could be the next big thing. The world's population is expected to reach nearly 10 billion by 2050, and the consumption of meat is projected to rise by 88%. To put that 88% into a little bit of a perspective, Here's what goes into producing just one kilogram of beef, 15,500 litres of water, 30 million square kilometres of land, 36.4 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions, and 200 milligrams of antibiotics used. So how do you feed so many people across the planet without destroying it? In theory, one cell is enough to produce one tons of meat. We calculate that one cow would be enough to feed the people living in Turkey. But how does it all work? Um, clean meat production is a straightforward process. First, a biopsy is taken from the animal. In our case, it's cow. Muscle stem cells in the, in the biopsy is isolated first. Cells start to proliferate in those flasks and they are incubated in those machines. Those machines can be considered as the body of the cow in our case. The final step is inoculating those cells into big bioreactors. Then those cells are harvested from the bioreactors. They are put together to be eaten as a minced meat. Have we ruined your appetite yet? Here's how it looks. And the taste? It still hasn't quite hit the spot since its big moment in 2013. The moment when the world's first lab-grown burger was cooked and eaten at a live conference. It's close to meat. It's not that juicy. I was expecting the, the texture to be more soft, but um, uh, the consistency is perfect. This was the most expensive burger ever made and consumed, with an estimated cost of $280,000. Since then, technologies have evolved and cell-based meat companies like Memphis Meat are offering a quarter pound of ground beef for $600. The global lab-grown meat market is currently expected to reach $20 million by 2027, and Turkey is among at least 14 countries invested in lab-grown meat production. This is Professor Can Akçalı from Ankara University School of Medicine. And I am also the co-founder of a, a brand new company in the Ankara University Technopolis. We are trying to develop new solutions to lower the price of clean meat. This procedure is very expensive due to those mediums that we see here. Without those um, growth factors, cells can't grow. But producing the fetal calf serum, you need to kill two animals, the mother of the calf and the calf itself. But Biftek Co wants to change both method and the price. Instead of using this fetal bovine serum, we use a plant extract which is endemic to Turkey. We are hoping to lower the price at least 60 fold, which means almost $50 instead of $3,000 per kilo. At this point, I'm sure you're all thinking whether that lab-grown kebab we mentioned earlier is safe enough to consume. It's as safe as our conventional meat that we are eating now. One thing is it is free of contamination. Clean meat production is not a genetically modified organism. We do not transfer any kind of gene or gene product to these muscle cells. We just mimic what is happening in the mother's uterus. According to recent studies, we can't predict the long-term climate implications of lab-grown meat. Just yet. The future of the clean meat is maybe shorter than we expect to see. If the cost is reduced to a certain amount, I would say maybe in two or three years, we would be able to see these uh, products in the market. The concept of farm to fork seems to be evolving into a thing of the past, with resources becoming more scarce and expensive. So maybe it's time to get used to the idea of lab to fork 